And now GMA on the cutting edge. Imagine not being able to do things most of us take for granted, like picking up a cup or a spoon. But now a revolutionary device that was once the stuff of science fiction could give tens of thousands back their independence. ABC News senior health and medical editor Dr. Richard Besser is here with news of the world's first bionic fingers. And, and Rich, this really is a breakthrough. George, this truly is revolutionary. Uh, you know, while people who have lost their whole hand have had a range of options, those who've been missing fingers have had just two. They can go through life with what remains of their hands, or they can get a fake prosthetic fingers that do absolutely nothing. Those were their only choices until now. 24-year-old Michael Bailey is a video game fanatic. But last March, in an accident at work, he lost something he'd always taken for granted, the use of his left hand. It took a couple months for me to really grasp what was going on, and I, I think I had my low periods there for a little bit. After nine hours of surgery, Michael's doctors were only able to save his thumb and index finger, leaving him unable to do simple tasks like sweeping. How did it change your life? It was definitely a big challenge, uh, having to learn to write again, learn to do everything that I normally would have done with my left hand. That all changed six months ago, when Bailey became one of only 50 people in the world fitted with these bionic fingers. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Part Star Wars, part human, each finger contains a motor smaller than a dime, all powered by a tiny rechargeable battery. How long did it take to learn to do it? About five minutes. Are you serious? Yeah, about five minutes, and I had it down pat. Electrodes placed against Michael's arm sense when he contracts certain muscles. Those small movements drive the robotic fingers. You're using it just like... Just like a hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have to think about doing that? Nope. It comes pretty natural. The fingers, called pro digits, are built over several months at this Ohio lab. It's a painstaking process. Each set custom fit for the patient. This is right out of science fiction. We've got fingers that uh, work just like your normal hand, only they're powered by motors and batteries and electricity. For Michael Bailey, it's so much more. When you first put mm -hmm. this on, what was that like? It was amazing. It felt like it was supposed to be there. It felt like, um, like normal, like, uh, like I was whole again. Felt like it was supposed to be there. That's something. Absolutely you, you, you brought one here. Let me, let me get a sense of how it works. Yeah, so this is a, an exact model of someone who lost all of their four fingers. All they had was a working thumb. So they built this specifically for a person. Now, the way it works, this device slips over their hand, and it's got some controls that would normally be attached to their muscles. But if I, if I work these controls, you'll see that the, the fingers can close. They can close around my finger. They don't move individually, but you'll see when I shake your hand with this, how that feels. That's a real grip. A real grip, yeah, which allows somebody to use this very functionally. And, and how much does that cost? Well, th it's extremely expensive. A device like this costs anywhere between sixty dollars and $80,000. The company says that some insurance companies have covered this, but work that we've done, um, most insurance companies have a very low cap, maybe $1,000 for a prosthetic device. And as we, as we see the, these fingers, what is the next a frontier with prosthetic devices. Well, you can see, you know, this is where, where the devices started, something that cosmetically looks absolutely wonderful. Mm. This is where we are now, where the four fingers will move. In the future, they want to get it so the electrodes are attached to very small muscle groups so that they'll be able to move individual fingers. And then beyond that, getting to the point where there are electrodes in the brain. So just thinking about moving those, those fingers will move those fingers. Wow, how many years away? Well, the individual fingers is probably uh, within the next five years. Okay, Richard Besser, thanks very much.